Rhino horn powder Xi Yao has been part of southern Chinese and Vietnamese medicine for over 1,800 years. Its first recorded mention shows up in the Shennong Ben Sao Jing around 200 CE during the Eastern Han Dynasty, where it was described as a cooling substance that could cool out the blood, drive out poisons and ease fevers, headaches and even snake bites. But what does cooling the blood even mean? In traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, every illness is viewed through the lens of a balance between yin and yang and the interaction of the five phases wood, fire, earth, metal and water. Hot illnesses like high fevers, inflammation or rashes are seen as too much heat or yang energy in the body. So a cold or cooling medicine is supposed to restore balance, much like putting water on a fire. Rhino horn was classified as a cold, bitter medicine believed to settle excess heat and neutralize toxic energy, often equated with infections or venom. The idea of chasing poisons came from the belief that the horn could draw out harmful qi or evil forces from the blood, which is why it was often recommended for snake bites or food poisoning. In ancient times, rhinos were not just mythical beasts, they roamed through southern China, including the now extinct Chinese Javan rhino. The horn became a symbol of wealth, health and status, leading to relentless hunting. By the 20th century, centuries of overhunting combined with rising demand across Asia had wiped rhinos out in China. Today, the illegal trade continues to threaten African and Asian rhinos, with powdered rhino horn selling on the black market for more than gold, even though science tells us it's nothing but keratin. The same stuff as in your fingernails. Chewing your nails would have the exact same medical effect, none. Modern medicine tackles fever and pain with acetaminophen or ibuprofen, reliable, cheap and extinction-free. Rhino horn, on the other hand, is just expensive magic toenail dust.